Hi guys, it's Monica Blunder, makeup artist. In today's tutorial, I will show you how I created the Rosie Huntington Whiteley makeup look I did for the Chanel pre-Oscar dinner a few weeks ago. I have my gorgeous model again, Caitlin. Now, Caitlin has been here with me a few times in the past. I love her and she's just so perfect for this look. Caitlin also has a great blog. There's some more information in the description box on how you can find her. And this makeup look is just a very classic, classic makeup. It has a beautiful red pouty lip, but if you skip the red, it's also a really great everyday makeup. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to like my video, and uh, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. And I see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hi, Caitlin. Hello. I can't believe you're here again. I know. I'm so lucky. Unbelievable. <laughs> we are doing another rosy look on you today. And uh, I'm starting off right away with applying foundation. And I chose this Chanel Perfection Lumiere Velvet Foundation. And the color I chose is number 30. Now, it's a little bit darker than you are right now, but I want to kind of match your body to your face. So I, I choose a little bit of a darker foundation. And uh, I'm actually using a buffing brush. And this one here is by IT. Uh, cosmetics and it's an airbrush uh, number 02 brush and I'm just kind of like buffing this foundation into your skin in round circular motions and I really like this foundation a lot I've been using it a lot lately on my clients because it's very light but it's also very creamy and you can get this really nice airbrushed finish with it you can really build it so you can apply it really lightly or you can also make it more heavy it's really buildable okay so we just finished with applying your foundation it looks beautiful and now I go in with my brow wisp by Anastasia in medium ash which is gonna perfect your brows a little bit and I'm going in with single strokes and I'm just filling in the little gaps and I'm also gonna just elongate this brow a little bit also gonna bring in a little bit of that arch. I like to lift the brow and then I'll take my spoolie in the back, just brush it all out, make it look more natural. I'm also gonna just fill it in a little bit more here in the front, just to make it a little stronger. Small strokes, painting on each hair individually. And then I go in with my spoolie again to make it more natural. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna go right into the eye makeup. I just finished doing your brows and I'm using my favorite eye primer by NARS. I'm putting that directly out of the tube on your eyes. And this is great if you, you know, go out or if you know that you're gonna be out for a couple of hours and uh, you don't have a makeup artist on hand touching you up or if you do have oilier eyelids. Just really nice to prime your eyelids beforehand. So your eye makeup will stay put. And then I go right into the eye makeup with my Tarte palette. And this one is called Tartlet. And I love this palette. I feel like everyone should own this palette. The reason why I like it, it's so matte and it's so hard to find a, a palette that has matte eyeshadows. And this one, all the colors are matte. And if you can see the way how they're placed, it starts off with like you can create like a really pretty like brown, you know, neutral eye makeup with that. And then here you have your like purpley shades. And then here you can do like a really pretty like, you know, smoky black eye makeup with that. Um, for today, I'm just using this shade and this shade, this shade kind of all over and this shade uh, Wanderer just to like contour the eye a little bit. Now on this makeup, I really um, didn't do a lot of eye makeup, so it's just really about contouring the eye. Now I'm going to start with this color, Supermom, on a uh, Elaine Budreau brush. I'm using that kind of just on the eyelid. Same thing here. And then I go in 
with my MAC 217 brush on the color Wanderer, this color right here. It's a really pretty taupey, browny beige color. And I'm just putting that in your socket and on the outer corner, just to define your eye a little bit with a little bit of color. And then you can take a bigger fluffier brush, this eye blender brush by Bobbi Brown, and buff it all in. So again, this eye makeup, what I did for Rosie that night for the Chanel party, really, because I did such a strong lip, um, I really wanted the eye to just not be the focal point. And I did not want her eye makeup to kind of like be any like strong and harsh colors. It just needed to be very soft and all blended really well. Almost like you don't really see the colors I'm applying. One more thing to this eye makeup is I applied this black um, eyeshadow here by Tartlet in uh, Fashionista. And sorry, oopsies, this is the palette. I'm using this black and I'm using it on a Laura Mercier flat eyeliner brush. It looks like that. And I just dip in the brush and uh, take it off a little bit on your hand. And what I'm doing is I'm just going as close as possible to the lash line and in between the lashes. I just kind of wiggle this product in her lash line so it kind of nestles right into her lashes. And the reason why I'm doing is it just I just want her lash line to look thicker and fuller, but I don't want a lined effect on the eye. This is almost like cheating and I really don't want anybody to see that I'm doing this. That makes any sense this is just to make your lash line look fuller no no um, graphic eyeliner or anything like that on this look and then you can even take a brush like this this is a contour shadow brush by Chanel and then you can even blend it even more like that and then you can also bring it if you look this way up a little bit we'll bring it also a little bit in that inner corner just to make that part a little bit darker when you look in the camera you can see that that makes a huge difference we just curled your lashes and now i'm applying mascara and i chose this chanel product in a meetup in black now i just want to say one more thing about this eye makeup is even today we're doing red lips, but I think that this is such a great eye makeup for every day, for the woman who has to go to work and, you know, like it's a great daytime eye makeup look. And, um, you know, if you just use a little bit of a nude or a pinky lipstick and you're ready to go out the door. So I just wanted to kind of throw that in there. And back to the mascara, um, applying this mascara, just, you know, very closely to the lash line. And then I wiggle it upwards. So it's a really nice, um, it separates your lashes really nicely and it doesn't clump at all. Really pretty. Again, I go as close as possible and then I just twist the brush and pull it upwards. Close to the lash line, twist the brush and pull it outwards. If you're looking for mascara, which is really black, I think this has a really pretty color payoff. Put a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes as well. And everyone, um, I think that I've said this a million times, but Caitlin does also have her own blog. Caitlin, what's the name of your blog? It's Caitlin Confidential. Yeah, so everyone check it out. I love your blog. Thank you. Always, <laughs> I love all, like, you, your <laughs> style is very similar to mine of products. I know, I know. We have very similar taste and products. I know. Okay, so I just put a few individual lashes on you in short and medium by Ardell. I didn't show you this on camera. I did this off camera because I've done this now many times. Uh, I'm also going to put a little bit more mascara now on top of it. I like doing it after I've applied the individual lashes just so everything kind of blends in together and looks more natural. All right, so let's go into concealing. Uh, I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard on you. And I'm applying this directly out of the tube. I'm just putting it right in here. I'm also going to put it a little bit on the bridge of your nose. And a little bit right in here. I even like to put it a little bit right here. And then I take my beauty blender first to buff it in. 
and then for underneath I'm actually first using my MAC 217 just to buff it in that way I can get really close to the lash line and like I like to also conceal right here in the inner corners and then I take my beauty blender my little baby one and just blend it all in even more Okay, so I just applied the concealer and now I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is not the original packaging, this is just my little, I just fill them in for when I go on set, so they're like in little tubes. And I'm applying it with a MAC 224 brush. And I like putting powder after I applied. The NARS concealer to me works really well if you do use powder on top of it, um, so it doesn't really crease. It goes into your fine lines. And I like using this brush because you can really buff it in nicely. I'm going to powder your T-zone, but a little bit later. I'm going to go now right into your contour. And for that, I'm using another Chanel product. This is the Le Beche series, and this is the number 50. I love this uh, powder for contouring. And uh, for that, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury brush. I'm just going to contour a little bit right underneath your cheekbone, the hollows of your cheeks. And I like to just kind of start right here where your ear is and I go in round circular motion downwards. And then I'm also liking to bring this color a little bit here so it looks more natural. Otherwise it just is a streak so you want to also bring the color like right here so it all just kind of breaks up evenly. And I also like to bring it a little bit in the hairline and in your forehead. I also like bringing this color actually at the very end a little bit in your eye makeup, just a touch. So it all kind of blends in together. So we just contoured your face and I'm bringing in a brand new product by NARS which I have been obsessed over it. I've been using this product non-stop and it comes in a few other really beautiful shades. This is the one I love for somebody like in your skin tone and it's a combination between a blush and a highlighter. It's called the Dual Intensity Blush and the color is called uh, Jubilation and just look at the color. How gorgeous is that? Now you can apply this um, wet or dry Obviously, if you're doing it wet, you will get a much higher color payoff. I'm doing it dry today and I'm applying it. Actually, it comes with this amazing brush also by NARS and I'm applying it with that brush and I'm mixing the two colors together. Also, the reason why I'm applying, why I'm using this blush is because we're doing a very, very intense red and I don't want too many colors in her face. So I just want a little bit of shimmer and shine on her cheek and this is just the perfect perfect product for that and i'm just putting it on the cheekbone on the apple of her cheek and i'm kind of buffing it in in round circular motions and i'm bringing it outwards whatever is left on the brush i bring all the way back and if you can see in the camera it just has this perfect beautiful sheen to it Okay, so we are almost done. I'm uh, also going to powder you a little bit right now with this Charlotte Tilbury uh, Airbrush Flawless Finish in number two. And I'm using this new brush I just got by IT Cosmetics. I really love it. Look how fluffy that is. Ooh, so, so, soft. so soft. So I like this brush because it doesn't really grab too much product on it. So it just kind of like, again, airbrushes the powder on your skin. And I'm again doing it in round circular motions. I'm also going to put it a little bit right just here in the T-zone. And again, we've already powdered you earlier underneath your eyes, so we don't need to do that. We're just going to bring this here in your forehead. Perfect. Just like that, again, would be just perfect with a little bit of a lip balm and you're ready to go out the door like a nude lip. But I want to do the same makeup I did for Rosie the other day for the Chanel win. So I did a very like beautiful like cherry type of red on her lips and I used this Tom Ford product and it's called Lost Cherry and I've always wanted to use this uh, lip gloss for so long and to me that's just like the perfect red and it has a little bit of a shine to it so that's what I'm applying. Uh, before that I'm using a Dior pencil and this is a, a universal lip liner pencil as you can see it has no color and uh, this is really great for um, 
applying so like you know how sometimes like your lipstick kind of bleeds out into the skin and this kind of prevents it from it it's almost like a reverse lip liner and then I'm just applying this lip gloss directly out of the tube I'm putting it right onto your lips I mean you can see it's almost like a lacquer effect and then I use my lip brush to perfect the shape of her lips this is such a beautiful color I think everyone should own this this lip color I think it goes with so many different skin tones so sexy and gorgeous mm -hmm. All right, so I just applied like two layers of this lip gloss and I also brought it a little bit more outside of her lip. So you can see, it just made it look a little bit more pouty. And uh, this is the finished look I did on Rosie. It's just beyond gorgeous on you. <laughs> Love it. You're done. I can't wait to see it. <laughs>